Hi guys. Thank you for tuning in to my live tasting. Today, as you can see, I will be doing my tasting on good fish salmon skin. And here is the bag. All right. And let's just look at the bag on the back. 90 calories. And the breakdown, seven grams of protein, um, zero carbs, like a zero. Um, can't get better than that for me. And um, it says it's gluten-free, um, as marine collagen, and omega-3 fatty acids. So we all know salmon has a great source of fatty acids. There's a lot of noise outside my window. I hope that it's not interfering here. Okay, so let's see what their let's see what the ingredients are first. So salmon skins, organic palm oil, and sea salt. That's it. Um, the slogan says helps preserve the outstanding Bristol Bay salmon run and the ecosystem it depends on in Alaska. Supports a proven sustainable and valuable pillar of our economy and the social fabric that has built it. Okay, so they're trying to do something that helps the ecosystem um, and it's also healthy for us. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to go and taste it. Let's see what it looks like. It literally looks like fish skins. That's cool. It looks crunchy and salty, like I like my snacks. I prefer salt over sweet. And I am gonna taste it. Okay. Just okay for me, because it's so fishy. Like, I love fish, but this just feels like it has, like, you know, when you smell fish or you smell um, sardines, it's like this potent, potent smell. It's like that smell is in your mouth. I can't explain it because I love the smell of fish. I have no problem when people eat fish in the, you know, break room and they microwaved it and it's like smells like fish that doesn't bother me but this oh let me try again i mean i could see a lot of people liking this another problem that i could see is like nobody wants to have have fish breath like this like this is a snack where you don't want to have to like talk to people in their face after you eat it this is not not conducive to anybody's well-being. Let me see. <laughs> I dropped on my lap. I bet my husband will like these. He's going to have to eat these. Like, I would probably just have one with some other things, like with some cheese cubes or some a pickle, you know, a little spread or something, and I can nibble on this. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't want to, like, say anything bad about a product, but I was really hoping that this was going to be mm -mm, good for me. I mean, as you can see, I'm still nibbling on it, so it can't be grotesque. I'm trying to, like get acclimated. I'm trying to treat it like wine, you know, like at first for some people, wine tastes sour. They don't understand why people don't like wine. And then after you start taking a few sips and then you try it again a second time and take a few sips. And then like about the fifth time you try wine, something in your palate has changed and you actually can taste the flavors in it. So like, I'm hoping that my palate just has to get used to this and over time it's not going to be a big deal and you know for me i am looking for a healthy snack right so it's like taking medicine if you're sick like i want to be healthy 
I got to find snacks that work. So I'm going to try to make this work. It's like medicine. When you tell kids, like, you're going to feel better if you do this. So I want to, like, have a lifestyle that allows me to feel better if I start eating things like this. And I need a variety of snacks. So I'm going to keep giving it a go. I like the salt. I could taste it on my um, fingers and all. But um, I guess you'll just have to try it to see for yourself. So if you guys have questions, I'm available to ask them. I'll be looking at the comments as well. And um, have a good day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.